So, mom, what do you think about what we saw? father's car which is a new car it's an electric car actually it's an hybrid um, I'm currently driving hybrid uh, and I am on my way to Urbino I'm not alone because next to me there's my mom Paula here uh, we have decided at the very last minute to take a tour a trip to Urbino which is in the Marche in the central part of the country and we're gonna spend the night there and tomorrow morning uh, we will be going uh, to visit the caves of Frasassi, which are pretty massive caves, a natural beauty. But before taking a tour into a nature site, we will be going today to visit the National Gallery of Marche in Urbino. And che c'è? Eh, va bene, funziona, it's working. Sorry, my mother was just making sure that um, the GoPro is recording. It is. Sorry, we're just making sure that the GoPro was working. It is. And anyway, so today we're gonna take a tour uh, to the National Gallery of Marche with masterpieces by Raphael, Piero della Francesca, so uh, lots of Renaissance works. Tomorrow we're gonna do a lot of nature and history as well. Uh, so, yeah, now it's time to go back to driving. Uh, it's a beautiful road here, uh, driving through Perugia and then somewhere. Fortunately enough, I have the Google Maps, so I know where to go. Otherwise, it will be lost. Bye. Say ciao. Po di qualcosa comunque. Se no. Eh, anche in italiano se vuoi. Ah, ecco, benissimo. Sono felice. Sì. <laughs> she's saying that she's happy. So we made it, we are here in Urbino, uh, this is our lovely hotel with a lovely host who's a little bit too talkative but that's fine. And we are right across from the monument dedicated to the very uh, divinity here. And divinity not by chance, because this guy here on top of this pedestal is Raphael. Raphael, the very famous renaissance artist, was born here in Urbino. And I think that either later today or tomorrow morning, my mom and I are gonna take a tour to Raphael's house, birthplace. but we're coming back here uh, tomorrow morning. Now we are going to the National Gallery. Belle Marche. So after a very quick walk through the historical center, we have reached now the main square with the cathedral here in my background. Uh, my mom is currently speaking with someone on the phone. And that's Palazzo Ducale, so the palace of the Duke, back in the days. 
and now it's the place where there is the uh, National Gallery. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick tour, quick look at the cathedral inside, and then we're going to the National Gallery. So we are about to enter inside the Palazzo Ducale. It's actually a beautiful square here. Uh, let me show you. So this is the cathedral where we were just a few minutes ago. This is the main square. Uh, that's the town hall in the very background. Uh, and this one here is the Palazzo Ducale with my mom at the entrance. floor of the museum and you're about to enter. It's quite small but it's truly beautiful and I'm gonna show you the first room which is right here. Princess of the castle, right here. Wanna follow? Nice gallery, but so far the most interesting thing is the actual palace itself. Look at this hallway right here. Look at the windows, these very beautiful renaissance windows from which you can actually take a look at the courtyard. Very famous courtyard of the palace. on top of the Palazzo Ducale in one of the two towers, the so-called Torricino. And you can have a beautiful view of the um, Montefeltro countryside here. And we're just right beside the cathedral over there. It's quite beautiful. Now, after enjoying this beautiful view from the tower, the top of the Palazzo Ducale, going down, enjoying probably what they call Amor something, so the gardens. And then I would like to run on the other side of the town and have a picture, take a picture of the place where we are right now. So Palazzo Ducale, I don't know if I can make it, but I'll try. Uh, it's pretty hot, as you can see, because my mom is using the fan. But yeah, time to go down. So if you're afraid of heights, this might be a little challenging on the way down. But hold on, because I see a beautiful lodge. Yeah, let's take a look here. Why? Because... Oh. So 
So mom, what do you think about what we saw? <laughs> I asked you a question. What did you, th what do you think about the gallery? You can answer in Italian if you want. A beautiful thing. Ducale. 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 It's a beautiful <coughs> palazzo to call. Il rigore proprio. <coughs> C'è la voce. Il rigore di Covid. tante costruzioni eh, paragonate alla magnificenza delle opere che contiene. It's a very rigorous architecture, severe architecture, compared to the opulence and the masterpieces that are um, kept inside the rooms of this beautiful palace. E la visita al turbino non è ancora finita. Ci sono delle cose bellissime da tipo, visitare intorno. Tipo? tipo? La casa di Raffaello. Ok, oppure? Oppure... Eh, eh, <ride> la casa di Raffaello. Ok, l'oratorio di San Giovanni. Ah sì, l'oratorio di San Giovanni. Eh sì. Sì, sì, sì. Vabbè. Sì, sì. Uh -uh. right. Now I'm here at a viewpoint from which you can have a beautiful view over the little town of Urbino. It's just stunning. Just arrived here and it's just beautiful. So this is the Palazzo Ducale where we were about an half an hour ago. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I always give you these details that are absolutely not relevant, not interesting. But yeah, this is a beautiful park and it's just beautiful to see this very little town uh, and surrounded by these beautiful mountains or hills, whatever they are, uh, but it's truly, truly magical. Incredible. Very happy to be here. Now it's time to take some drone footages, even though I'm not sure I'm allowed, but I'll try to. taking my drone footages. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right light. As you can see, that's the Palazzo Ducale, the Ducal Palace. And it's not, I mean, the sky is bright, but there is a very bad cloud right in front of the sun. So I've been waiting for the perfect light, but which is pretty much all around, but not on the town. So it's still beautiful, of course. And a landscape, it's just amazing. But anyway, uh, my mom is waiting for me. Uh, it's kind of 7.30, so it's pretty early for dinner. But we had a very light lunch, so we're getting extremely tired and hungry. So, time for some food. After dinner, it's time to go back to the hotel room, which is up hill. Pretty steep. And we are tired. But we're gonna make it. I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. We will be going to. I know, actually, we're going to Raphael's house and then. Sassi, Kate, and then probably Fabriano. We have to figure it out. And then back to Orvieto because it's my mom's and dad's 
wedding anniversary. Io? No. 